Okay, so how did I make the other objects in this here? So let's just grab the uh, screwdriver and what we'll do is we'll zoom in a little bit and see how it's been constructed. So I've grouped this together, so let's right click and choose ungroup and we should be able to see that this is actually made up of lots of separate shapes. So some of them are just simple rectangles and some of them are uh, rectangles with rounded corners. Okay, so let's just undo that and put it back together. So making these shapes um, it's pretty simple, using the same techniques um, as I used for making the handle of the, the hammer. I used to, uh, those same techniques for making the tip of the screwdriver. Um, and the handle of the screwdriver is quite simply a rectangle, like so, where I've dragged these little corner parts here to create a rounded um, corner. And it's just multiple shapes like that layered one on top of the other. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And let's have a little, little look um, at doing the the shield shape. So this shield that I put around the, the, the tools um, is simply made up of a rectangle. So here's a rectangle, but the rectangle has no fill colour. So I've switched that off there and I've just set the stroke to the colour I need and made it a bit wider. Um, and then I've drawn an ellipse or a circle and I've overlapped those two shapes. It's a little tricky sometimes to grab these. Uh, let's just use the little pink guidelines that pop up to allow us to just get this lined up perfectly. And you see I've got these two shapes overlapped here. Now if I select both of those shapes then over here, this little Pathfinder option appears and I can use the first option here to join those two shapes together. And it kind of makes our shape, but it doesn't have the point on the bottom of the shield. But we can add a point here by using this tool here, which is called the Anchor Point tool. And it allows you to change curves into corners or corners into curves. So if I just click here, it adds a nice point there and that gives us the shape that we used um, in the previous icon. There we go. Okay, so we want to save our document. So file, save as, and if we save as an Adobe Illustrator file, then that's fine. It can be opened again in Illustrator and uh, we can work on it again at a later date. However, if we want to share our file online, we probably want to export um, as and you'll choose a PNG file because it's a good file format for saving, um, for sharing online. Okay, so you choose that option, hit export and just uh, leave these settings here, just click OK and that will have saved your document as a PNG file. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.